There are many things happening in this passage from Luke. And but to, under, to really appreciate this feast, we also look at the prophet Zephaniah and, we, and also of recognizing the presence of the Lord within us. And truly, that happens in this gospel passage. John the Baptist, from his mother's womb, recognizes Jesus in Mary's womb, feels the presence. Remember that when so, when so many will say, that child hasn't been born yet, it feels nothing. Remember, yes, it does. And don't be afraid to share this with them. Every infant feels something. And right here, and we also have the confirmation of the words that the angel Gabriel said to Mary when Elizabeth says, blessed are you among women, as the angel had told Mary a few months before or a few weeks before this, that you have found favor with God. Blessed are you among women. And Elizabeth reaffirms that when greeting her. And Mary could say, yes, Lizzie, I agree with you. <laughs> yes, I am. I was selected to be a part of God's salvation for humanity. <laughs> Instead, showing to be a, a model of humility, Mary responds with her fiat, making it her own, a fiat that could be also could be ours as well, acknowledging God's greatness above humanities. Because Mary sees that God is greater than any of us human beings. God is bigger. His love, his mercy, his healing is greater than all of our sins, all of our failings. And thank God that they are because, and it's because of that love, that powerful healing, that powerful mercy, that we overcome every, every flaw in our character. And what Mary's fiat right here is, this is a point of departure for the future as well, because of all of the apparitions that have taken place over time, Mexico City, Lourdes, <coughs> Portugal, and in, 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 uh, Fatima. The focus has never been on her. It's been on Jesus. It's been on, on what God can and will do for his faithful people. Each shrine that has been, has been erected has been for the spiritual healing and uplifting of all of us, God's wounded, that we may also rejoice in God's goodness and see how great it is beyond our imagination. As for the blessing says, when we conclude a funeral liturgy, may the peace of God, which is beyond and our understanding and knowledge, come upon you. If we look at paintings, and we have seen them in stained glass windows, as well as any other holy sites of Elizabeth and Mary during the moment of the visitation, which we are celebrating today, we see God's greatness because if you understand very well the story of uh, Zechariah, Elizabeth, and John the Baptist, and you see those pictures, Elizabeth should have not been waiting for a child. She should have been, she was at an age where she should have possibly been waiting for her great-grandchildren. But in, it was God's plan that she, in what, in what was her, in a very elderly age, would give birth to someone who would prepare the way for Jesus Christ, our Savior. This is a feast. It is a feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary. That is how the church has categorized it. But beyond what it says, it's a feast, as along with Mary, we can say, of God's greatness and God's unlimited great love over us.